Welcome to part two of our video on how to put together a winning proposal. In part one, we talked about the foundation for a successful proposal, which is an RFP and a site visit. So now let's talk about how you actually construct a winning proposal. There are some key elements or attributes that I believe that your proposal has to have. First, more than likely your proposal will be a pretty lengthy document. And because no one wants to read a novel about your company, you have to get them uh, interested in your proposal. So make sure that you have an eye-catching cover page. I would include high quality images of security related items or maybe images of your security officers or your vehicles. Additionally, the cover page should also include the prospect company's name and logo. You can usually pull the company's logo off the company's website. Second, your proposal has to have a table of contents. The key to a table of contents is to make sure that the table of contents lists all of the sections outlined in the RFP requirements. So if the RFP asks for a copy of your license, a certificate of insurance, and management bios, make sure that those sections are outlined in the table of contents. Third, your proposal should contain an executive summary. Again, because your proposal will more than likely be a lengthy document, you want to give the reader a brief summary of all the key points that you've outlined in the proposal. The executive summary is also a great place to outline the success factors that the prospect provided to you during your site visit and explain how you will ensure that the security program will be successful. One of the biggest mistakes that I've seen companies make uh, with their proposals are not making them consumable. When I say consumable, think of your favorite magazine and how it's laid out. My guess is that there are a lot of nice pictures, the articles are written in two columns, and the titles are catchy and descriptive. You should apply those same principles to your proposal. The prospect may not be excited to read your proposal, so try to make it an interesting read, but let's keep it professional, okay? Fifth, we are living in the age of video and as a proposal writer, I would surely take advantage of the ability to easily incorporate video into documents. For instance, you might consider uh, doing a short video telling the reader or prospect what to expect from your proposal and where to find the most relevant information. Every topic or section of your proposal should be a standalone document, kind of like a brochure. The reason being is that you will be able to easily adapt your proposal for future RFPs. For example, let's say the RFP that you're responding to requests topics are A, D, G, and H. But the next RFP that you respond to requests topics A, D, G, and X. You can easily pull out topic H and create topic X. After that, you will have a proposal that includes topics A, D, G, H, and X. You are essentially building a library of potential proposal topics. Thinking of your proposal in this way will drastically reduce your proposal creation time, which can measure hours, if not days. Lastly, security guard service buyers are looking for reasons to throw your proposal out so don't give them a reason to trash yours by giving them a poorly written proposal. If you are not an excellent writer, find a friend who is and get them to proofread your document. It might even be worth it to uh, hire a professional editor. In summary, proposals are a response to an RFP and or site walkthrough. Never give a proposal to someone who is not willing to provide an RFP and or a site walkthrough. All proposals should contain certain attributes or elements. Number one, an eye-catching cover page. Number two, a table of contents. Number three, an executive summary. Number four, should be easily consumable. Number five, contains links to video assets. Number six, the proposal should be written as a library of topics. Seven, find a great editor. And that's the end of video number seven. If you're thinking about starting a security guard company, 
and you find this type of information helpful, then please subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure that you are alerted as we introduce new videos in the series. Lastly, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below because I try to respond to all comments and questions that I get. On to the next video.